Hello everyone, this is Noah, and today I'm going to go over a few drills with the kakia, or kakate biki. Uh, normally this is just a one-armed uh, dummy that has some sort of tension on the arm. Uh, usually it was traditionally done with uh, just hanging a weight on the other side of the arm, uh, but now that we've got more advanced uh, technology available to us, uh, bungee cords work really well for this. Uh, some people will also use springs, uh, automobile springs for example, to put the arm under tension. Uh, this is a one-armed version, which is the more common version, uh, but there are two-armed ones as well, and even three-armed ones like the uh, Wing Chun dummies that you see. But uh, because the arm moves, it's used a little bit differently. So one of the drills that I'd like to do with this is a simple parry-pass type of drill. Uh, this is the type of thing that you see from your Churanuke, uh, your middle blocks, but it's also present in uh, Pasai kata and a variety of other uh, kata as well. All that you're working on this is you want the arm to be pointed at you, push it off of your uh, body so that it no longer would touch you if you leaned forward, uh, and then you bring your other arm up to bridge it. If you're just working the parry pass, then you'd simply reset. So you'd come here, and then you'd reset. You'd come here, and reset. So you can work it individually, or you can work it as a clearing motion, this one. And both of those are the same type of action, this uh, crossing of the arms. If I'm using it for the parry pass, this way, then I've done my middle block. And similarly, if I have already done that, and it's pushing in, and I want to clear it, this is the exact same motion. So we're working the same motion two different ways with the kakia this way. Another simple drill to do with the kakia uh, comes from, in our kata uh, system, we have a set of three kihon kata that came from Chibana Sensei. Uh, and one of them comes across and down. So it actually works your uh, inward block uh, and your downward block. Uh, this works not just as blocking two techniques, but as you'll see here, clearing uh, an obstruction. So we've got this kakia arm as a punch, for example. We move it offline, so now it can no longer hit me, and then I sweep it down. This way, now I've opened my opponent up for strikes in return. Like the basic parry pass drill, you can simply reset this and work both sides this way. Or you can do it in a more continuous motion, which will actually put you uh, into some tweedy techniques. Uh, when you bring this across and down, if you go into the next uh, cross body block, uh, you can actually use that as a joint lock here, because we can take this hand and grab or control the arm. So once it's down, we pull it back and bring this across, and now we can do it again on the other side. Press this down, wrap and trap, grab, however you want to control it, across, down, across, down, across, down. So again, we've got two different ways to work the exact same motion. Uh, and this is really just a broken down uh, get on barai anyway. Uh, typically you would set up and pull down. Uh, but it works the same way as the regular get on barai, just broken down into two sets. And the last one that I'm going to show today uh, is based off of your joranuke, your high block. So we'll have covered uh, middle, low, and high uh, by the end of this video. So when you're looking at the high blocks, again, most systems will cross the arms uh, as they switch their blocks. So that's the type of action that we're going to be using for this. The jujiuke, the cross arm block, is present halfway through that, uh, so that's going to show up as well. So you can start off simply, just like before, pressing it so that it's no longer uh, going to hit you if you were to step forward. 
uh, you have now made it so that it's not going to hit you. Uh, and then you can work your high block, not just as a block, but as a controlling technique to press the arm forward and up. So we've got this action here. And again, just like the Chudanuke Peri Pass drill, you simply reset. So we press this way, reset, press this way, and reset. And this way we can work the same block on both arms. Now, this sets you up to do a lot of things, and when you have this crossing arm motion, you can actually uh, bring it up as a sort of a flinch response type of technique. So you have this here, and instead of working specifically on the press part of the parry pass, now you simply have a flinch type of response. Once you've done this, you can choose either way to move the arm with your jodanuke. So we've come here, now we can press this way, or we can press this way. And that is something that depends entirely on what your opponent's doing. But in terms of the kakya, we can simply work this or side two arms as well. Uh, you come up, press out, uh, and once you're here, if there's another arm on this other side, you can do another actual jodanuke uh, into a low block if you'd like to roll that over. Uh, and so what that would look like is we've come high in our jodanuke, shift out, and press down. So you can actually start mixing and matching these techniques. Once you're here, uh, you can go back into the uh, middle and down drill that we were doing earlier. Uh, and similarly, once we're here, we can come back and start working uh, our parry pass. So once you've got a few basic drills with this, you can start mixing and matching. Uh, and these are just limb control drills, very basic drills for just moving your opponent's arms around. Once you start adding strikes, joint locks, things get a little more complicated. So we've got parry pass this way. We have cross and down this way. And we have parry pass high, which all three have multiple uses. Once you're comfortable with these drills, you can start mixing in strikes. Uh, so you can parry strike pass, for example. Uh, you can parry and pass and strike, uh, whichever way you'd like to strike, of course. Uh, you can go straight in as well. The crossing one, as I mentioned, works very well to go into uh, joint wrenching techniques, uh, but you can also incorporate strikes. As I said, with the low block being essentially the same as the cross and low, uh, you can actually move this across and strike this way before moving low. And with the high blocks, once you're here, it's very easy to drop a strike down. And of course, now we're in more of a pinan shodan type of uh, arm position. But this is something that gives you a lot of opportunities to play and uh, sort of discover your own karate.